Hello everyone, this is Darion of GB Productions, and welcome to the second installment of Hedgehog Month. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Project Shadow. Project Shadow was a 26-minute long fan film directed by this individual right here. I'm not even going to bother attempting to pronounce that name, I'm sorry. And was released in December of 2023. The film centers around Shadow the Hedgehog and his life aboard the Space Colony Ark, continually learning about his growing power, until the organization his creator, Gerald Robonic, works for sees that the ultimate life form isn't panning out like they hoped. Yep, you're getting two Shadow videos in a row. What can I say, I love this little goober too freaking much. Project Shadow is such a fascinating fan film that I had been keeping a close eye on up until its release. A fan film that covers the origins of Shadow and his time on the Ark, that also serves as a makeshift prologue to the events that'll take place in the third Sonic movie, was certainly an interesting route to take. And I'm happy to say this is easily one of the best fan-related projects to come from the Sonic series. Literally everything from the visuals to the music choices, the performances, and voice acting is all top-notch. The story, if you've played the games and are familiar with the story of Shadow, is pretty straightforward. You won't find much differing from the original source material. Except considering that this fan film is inspired by the movies, some liberties are taken. Like in the absolutely stunning opening montage sequence that details Gerald's journey to creating the ultimate life form, it shows him allying himself with the movie universe's Echidna tribe, which is a neat little inclusion I couldn't help but love. The bulk of the story hinges on the relationship between Shadow, Maria, and Gerald, and as far as all of that goes, it works pretty well. They all feel like a super cute and wholesome family, and that's about all I could ask for. Yeah, if I could describe their writing quality for the first half of this, I should say, it'd be cute. Like, seeing these three all together and happy is just super adorable, but when shit hits the fan, it really hits the damn fan. I might as well get into this now, but the character work for this film is great. Again, it's not anything groundbreaking, but the attention to detail on giving these main three very unique and entertaining quirks that perfectly fit within their game counterparts had to be praised. Given that this fan film is based on the movies, I love how much of Gerald's personality and mannerisms are similar to Jim Carrey's take on Dr. Eggman, even down to having a few of the same quips and one-liners. I was not expecting that. But I was expecting not to expect something, so it doesn't count. I was not expecting this, but I was expecting not to expect it, so it doesn't count. It's just a cute little detail that I love and adore, and it's not really thrown in your face either. It's there for those who will pick up on it, and I think that's the best kind of approach to references. Maria in the games never had that much character, and that also remains true for the fan film as well. But I will say, I like how her knack for science is on more of a display here. I don't know, I just think it's kind of neat. Shadow being the main focus gets a lot of attention when it comes to his character, and I absolutely love what the writers did with him here. We see a side of Shadow that in the games we barely got any glimpses of. His sibling-like relationship with Maria is absolutely amazing, and his personality and characterization was also really handled as well. Considering that this is a Shadow before everything goes down on the arc, he's not really portrayed as the cold and distant hedgehog we know from the games. No, if anything, he's almost similar to Movie Sonic in some aspects. Not entirely, but in regards to how fun-loving and playful he is, how energetic and cocky he is with his powers, etc. It just makes the later events that eventually unfold all the more heartbreaking once you finally see what Shadow was like before Gun ruined his life. Especially if you're familiar with the games. But something I also love is how they establish that even before Maria dies, spoiler alert, I guess, Shadow is still a ruthless motherfucker, and that is so damn cool. None of the characters go through any growth or arcs, and the only through line we get is Shadow finding out about his increasing and uncontrollable power. Which, in and of itself, is pretty cool to see unfold. Everything from the chaos control and how freaked out he gets, and the chaos spears are all pretty cool. Despite the very minuscule character work, they did a great job at getting you attached to these three. So much so that when Maria inevitably dies, it genuinely brought a tear to my eye. Completely forgetting everything we know about the games, this scene was just brilliantly executed. How great the performances are cannot be understated enough, as everyone involved was near perfect. I will say, I watched both the original sub and English dub for the film, and all around, I think the cast did a great job. 
Adriano Lima and Aaliyah Marianne, I'm sorry if I butchered those names, do a great job as Gerald and Maria, respectively. As for Bruno, last name I know for a fact I'll mispronounce, as Shadow, I feel like I can't properly critique his performance, honestly. Given that outside of the various English voices, the only Shadow voice I'm accustomed to is Koji Yusa, his Japanese voice actor. That's not to say Bruno is bad, because he does an amazing job. I just wish I could personally go more into what makes it work. On the other hand, the English cast did a great job as well. Rebecca Sternberg did a good job as Maria, and it was cool to see Char i5, a YouTuber I have been following since I was younger, voice Professor Gerald. He did an absolutely incredible job. But the one that absolutely stealed the show for me had to be Giovanni Salazar as Shadow. His Shadow voice to me was absolutely superb. It hits that perfect mix between the sort of mellow vibe of David Humphrey, but also some of the intensity of Jason Griffith. This shit is absolutely incredible. Not to mention, both of the Shadow VAs absolutely destroyed me in the Maria death scene. The frantic desperation and panic of Shadow, and then it finally happens, and you can just feel the emotion in this one line. The English dub also features a pretty cool cameo from Mike Pollock, which was nice. Not to mention the various actors who voiced the gun soldiers were also pretty good. Which brings me to my next point. This film looks absolutely stunning. I cannot praise the visuals and presentation enough. It's all great. Now, of course, the use of green screen and CG models is very apparent. But other than that, stuff like the animation of Shadow is fucking incredible, dude. Holy shit. Just everything from the design, movements, and facial expressions is absolutely top-notch. For the very little action we do get, it looks absolutely incredible. Love the little easter egg to the opening sequence of Shadow of Five as well. Not even just Shadow, but the models for the gun soldiers were amazing as well. My dumbass couldn't even tell they were CG on my first watch, that's how good it is! Overall, Project Shadow to me is not only a phenomenal fan film, but one of the best fan-related projects to come from the Sonic series. With top-notch acting and voice acting, absolutely breathtaking visuals and presentation, incredible writing that expands upon the game characters in a clever way, while spinning it nicely to fit within the movie universe, providing an emotional gut punch, delivered alongside an incredible amount of heart and soul, Project Shadow, to me, is simply brilliant. I really wanted to use this Hedgehog Month thing to gush about fan-related projects at a more appropriate time than I would any other time I'd upload a video. So... With all that said, if you agree or disagree with anything I've said in this video, let me know right down there in the comments below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe. This is Darion with GME Productions, and take care.